welcome back to the channel. Um, today we thought that we would share our story about how we met and how we ended up dating. A lot of people ask us and we kind of give like the very like brief explanation but we wanted to go into some juicy details. Where should we start? I guess from the very beginning. I've told this story quite a few times but <coughs> his friend Dom Shout out to Dom. Played Maple Story in my guild. His friend Dom is his one of his best friends in, in real life. life. Jay would go over to Dom's place, and then Dom and I and like other guild members would be Skyping already. So that is how I got to know Jay a little bit. I think this was in like 2012. How many years is that? Well, eight now. Eight eight years. Yeah. But like back then. We didn't, like, we weren't really close friends. Like, I'd say hi here and there. Yeah. But we'd play StarCraft. Yeah, together. we played StarCraft. Or like Minecraft. Yeah, he came to my Minecraft place and he destroyed my house and I was pissed. Mm -hmm. I remember, when did you and your ex start dating? In mid 2012. Okay, so we must have known each other a little bit before then. Yeah, we did. Because I remember, knew each other before. like, I remember <laughs> when he first got his girlfriend and was like, <gasps> I was so happy for mm -hmm. you and he was like, yeah, I got a girlfriend and at the time I was dating my ex as well So we were just friends. We didn't really talk for a long time. I yeah, fast forward to like 2016 16. 2016, 2016. Um, Both of us were kind of like doing our own thing. Dang, that's four years. Yeah, we had our own things going, our on. Own thing going on In okay. February you hit me up and you're like, hey, this is Jay um, because that's when I was breaking up. Yeah, you're yeah, like, I just need so. some like girl uh, opinions on some things if you're free to talk. And that was like when he first we first started talking a Again. little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both of us were kind of like at the end of our relationship during that. And by all means, like I had absolutely no intentions with him at all. <laughs> But oh my gosh, I feel like I should make a whole other video. No, it's cringe. It's too cringe. It's but our messages? Mm -mm. Like he clearly was like flirting with me a little bit. But she didn't know. But I was just like, there's, I have literally pictures. And it's like, thanks Jay, you're such a good friend. <laughs> I was friend zone. It wasn't like we were super close at that time anyways. Yeah, we weren't. We, we just weren't knew that, that we were either. both going through like, similar things like a breakup after a long relationship. yeah and we just chatted a little bit here and there fast forward to april 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 is when um we both were officially like out of relationships mm -hmm. he was like hey like i have the house to myself because hey, you make me sound like a bad guy <laughs> <laughs> okay i am a bad guy i guess my parents went to korea for like almost a month and I couldn't go because I, I was in school at the time. So all my friends came to live with me too. And we just basically partied, every partied for a month. <laughs> and then I told her to come. She's in Canada. Yeah. But I was like, fuck it, you can come. No, this is what he said. He's like, I'll show you because I was saying like, I don't know how to be single. Oh yeah, because, I, don't think yeah. I can show you how to be single. I was like, I've been in a relationship for like six years. Like, I don't know how to be single, like I don't know how to do these things. You're like, I'll show you, like, mm -hmm. I'll teach you how to be like a bad bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I For, it yeah she actually bought a ticket. She was actually gonna come. And then I, and then I chickened, chickened, chickened out. <laughs> but that's okay. I think if she came down during that time, maybe we wouldn't be together. And then I came down to California to go to Disneyland. I had one extra day where my friends and family, uh, they flew back a little bit earlier than me. Um, so I was like, hey, like this would be the per perfect opportunity to like hang out with Jay and he couldn't because he was in I was in Hawaii. Yeah, then I, I don't I actually don't travel a lot. Yeah, but I decided to go to Hawaii with some nursing friends. I was like, I guess it's not meant to be. It's yeah. fine. And then TwitchCon 2016. It was just a month later. Yeah, so yeah, that's when we decided we would actually meet up but then Jay was like, oh, like, let me pick you up from the airport and like, I can show you around LA and... <laughs> and then you changed your flight to LA, didn't you? Oh, you haven't, you didn't fly no, it. you were telling me to make sure I could book it. Yeah. <laughs> to LA instead. Yeah. Because TwitchCon was in San Diego. And then I was like, okay, yeah, that sounds fun. Little did I know this was his plan. I had all date planned. I did not expect that at all. Like, I feel like 
thinking back and looking back at like some of the conversations and things like it's so clear that he was trying to get with me but i was just like doo -doo -doo, like he's my friend like whatever which i think kind of worked to my advantage yeah because then i appeared non-threatening yeah we went to i picked her up at the airport wait wait i want to explain what when he i met him at the airport so this is what she saw that's how he had he had that long of hair <laughs> when we first met i personally am not attracted Look to guys that. no offense to guys with long hair but i don't like long hair yeah. guys we hadn't like video chatted in, in like, a long a, time a, like his hair wasn't that long yet so when i saw him in person i was like <gasps> okay he's gonna be a cool friend <laughs> <laughs> and what were you thinking when you first saw me like dang she's hot <laughs> so then we went to santa monica pier i think that's the first thing we did it's like a cool it's like a cool little date spot but you know i just didn't make it seem appear like a day i was like oh we can go to the pier you know it's kind of cool there's cool stuff to do there but and then the really? most cringe thing ever we got onto a ferris wheel yeah it was so weird because we we get like sat across from each other and we're like what do we do and, and the ferris wheel seems like it was going yeah, forever it was really cringy and, and then we, we decided to get oysters yeah but you were impressed that i like i was impressed too. that she like it was raw oysters like mm -hmm. eating yeah and way. i was the one that paid for the food yeah and then she paid for it mm -hmm. it wasn't a date she didn't expect me to pay for it so this i went this whole thing was a ploy to trick me into being we're friends so hard that then how did it switch around uh we went to a concert <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah and when he we went to the concert like we picked up some alcohol that we couldn't pre-drink with and then i left my id yeah at the freaking liquor store it looks like we already had all this crazy couple adventure on our first day oh but we forgot we what? forgot to say uh we went to little tokyo oh yeah oh yeah we went to little tokyo after we ate oysters yeah i don't know if they do this anymore but when we went they, they, there's like a little Japanese store that sells like a bunch of Japanese souvenirs and there's like a tree outside of it and it's a wishing tree and then you can go inside and pay for like a it kind of looks like a bookmark you just write your wish and you hang it on the tree my wish was that I would meet a really sweet kind caring funny guy that was me. yeah we just got comfortable with we got other. drunk <laughs> let's be real we got drunk we went back to where we were like we went back to the car um obviously we're gonna drink any or drive because we we're just gonna try to sober up yeah so then like, that is when apparently i gave him the yeah the kiss me eyes and but i was just drunk and then so i was like oh okay i think all right okay i see where this is going that's not true so you know, okay uh, this was your fun all along too Trick me into the I know, wall. but only if I, I saw the signs too. What are the signs? Mm -hmm. What's the sign so everyone can learn? You, I don't know. Like you can just feel it. You go in for a hug, right? So like, oh, you know, you hug, but this is a friendly hug. You know, when you just hug like this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you want to do like the move, you gotta hug like this, hand back of the <laughs> hand. After you're done hugging, you just look at each other, and this is like giving her the sign. And she was like, yeah, you better kiss me now. <laughs> and I was like, all right. I didn't say that. You didn't say that, but that's that's the signal you gave. And then I went for it. Yeah. <laughs> On our first day of meeting. It sounds sad, but it just happened. And it all happened, like, perfectly. It all happened in... I know, it was crazy. It, like, a... Perfect timing, perfect moment. Felt like a movie. That day felt like a movie. Yeah, it didn't feel like... I didn't feel like pressured or anything like that. It just kind of like... Happened. Naturally, organically happened. Like We just really got along. And mm -hmm. I felt like it was just... We already like vibed so well. Like yeah. it was really easy just to hang out. So... And you secretly had a crush on me the whole time. I did. I did. It kind of just falls into place with the right person I feel. Obviously there was a little bit of planning. If it doesn't happen after you do that, then it was just not the right person. And yeah, I think that we just happen to be the right people for each yeah. other. And then we spent the rest of TwitchCon together. And Wait, the night, remember the night I drove you to San Diego? Yeah. I got a ticket. 
You got a ticket because I made a left turn on a red light, but it was a one-way road. And he also and then I also got a parking ticket. And he also and then my mirror broke. <laughs> the on my the car. mirror on the side of his car broke because somebody hit it. And this all happened in the span of three days. Yeah, he drove back because he had some sort of presentation or something. Mm -hmm. And when you when you say like drive back, it's like a two and a two hour drive. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Two hour drive, and then he drove back to San Diego because he knew that he had to come back. Like we had a lot of similar morals and beliefs, and we were just like really identical. Yeah. After that, I got sick during that weekend, and he nursed me back to health. I was literally sick in bed, and he was like putting. A towel on my head and like taking care of me, and I was like, That's when you fell in love okay, with me. Okay, <laughs> this guy is like top tier. Mm -hmm. I was even like puking and shit. And this was like the first week when we met, and he was still taking care of me, like, not, like still making me feel beautiful and still making me mm -hmm. feel special. After that, but now we're together. He dropped me off at the airport, and we just said to each other, like, I want to see you again. Like, I don't want this to be. Done. I don't want this to be over. Even like, though you lived far away. Yeah, because I was in Canada. And after that, we we talked every single day. We haven't stopped since. Video talk, chatted every day, and we made it work. And we did long distance for like... Almost a year. If you add it all together, it was almost a year. Yeah, but now we're living together. We're married. We have three cats. It's just crazy to think back to these times. And, um, Here we are. Here we are, but we just thought we'd give a more elaborate, detailed story. Um, if you guys like these kind of stories, if you want to hear, see the DM one, it oh, was... that's too cringe. I really I watch that. that one. I can't. I can't even look at those messages. Love you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.